tell from my outfit today that you are going to be detectives with me and you're going to help me to solve a mystery word. Here's the letters that we'll need. There are nine letters all together. Let's say the name of the letters and you're going to write them down where you are, okay? Great. You need letter A, letter I, letter G, letter H, letter L, letter R, letter S, letter T, and you need a second letter T. Those are the nine letters that you'll need to solve our mystery word today. Write those down and say the sounds that you know about those letters as you write them. Now we'll start building. Okay, in my special envelope here, I have a three letter word. The word is sit. I think I'll sit down. Sit, let's do the sounds in sit. S-I-T, sit. Let's think about what letters match those sounds that we have here on our board. Yes, the S is letter S. How about the I sound? Letter I and the T. You've got it, letter T. S-I-T, sit. Let Sky write, or if you're writing at home, you can write where you are. We're going to write the three-letter word, sit. You would write it if you made your columns where you are. You're going to write it under the column that says number three. Here we go. S-I-T, sit. S-I-T spells sit. Wonderful job writing the word sit. Now, we are going to make another word that has three letters, but there's a different sound and letter in the word. The word is, instead of sit, lit. I lit the candle, lit. Can you say lit? Great, let's do the sounds in lit. L-I-T, lit. When I look at sit and I think about l it, there's one letter and sound that needs to change. What is it? Yes, let's take out letter S, the s, and what do we need to put there instead that makes them ool? You've got it, letter L. We just turned sit into lit. L it. Let's skywrite it. L I T, lit. Okay, can you say the sounds as you write l -i -t, and put it under the three letter column? As you finish writing up, we are going to be thinking about changing to a four letter word. The word we're going to make is list. Can you say list? I often make a list when I go grocery shopping. List. Let's do the sounds in list. L-I-S-T, list. Hmm, if I look at lit, and now I think about list, what sound do I need to add in there? Yeah, there's a S that needs to go there. Where should it go? You've got it right before the T. And what letter should it be? Yes, letter S. Look at that. It's the st blend that we've been working on. Instead of being at the beginning of a word, though, it's at the end of a word. L-I-S-T. List. L-I-S-T. Let's skywrite it and say each letter sound. L-I-S-T. Well done, and it has four letters, so let's put it under the column that has four. As you're finishing that up, the word we're doing next also has four letters. The word is last. Can you say last? 
I like to think about a summer that would last forever and ever because I just love summer so much. Is there a season you wish would last forever? Let's say the sounds in last. L-A-S-T. Last. Now, what do we need to change to go from list to last? I hear in the middle there's a sound that sounds like a. Eh. What letter would that be? Yes, letter A. So we need to take out the I and instead put in letter A. And now it says last. Last. And we know that our blend can go together and say st. So you could also do last. Last. Let's write the letters and say the sounds. Last. Last. Well done. And again, it's four letters, so we're going to put it down here. And while you're finishing up writing last, I'm going to clear off my board. I don't need any of these letters for the next word. Well, she didn't say I don't need any of the letters, but it's going to sound a little different. The next word that we're going to say and do is the word tar. Tar goes on streets roads to steal them. Can you say the word tar? Nice. Let's listen for sounds in tar. Ready? Listen. T -r, tar. Here are two sounds, but there's three letters. T. What letter is that going to be? Makes the t sound. Letter T is going to go at the beginning. Okay. Now there's two letters that work together to say R. Do you know what those letters are? A R says R. Let's put A R together next to the T, and now we've spelled the word tar. T R tar is spelled T A R. Let's skywrite and do the sounds. T R tar, and now let's do the letter names. T A R spells tar. It has three letters, so put it down here under sit and lit because it has three letters. Okay. Now, we've been talking a lot about the sky. And there's some things in the sky that we can see at night that are very bright. What is in the sky at night that is very bright? A star. Let's say star. Good, let's do the sounds in star. St R star. How could we turn tar into star? You've got it. Letter S at the beginning goes with T to make the st sound. St R star or st R star. Let's skywrite it. S T A R spells star. Excellent. Now we haven't talked too much yet about the mystery word, but they're always connected to something we're learning about, right? So we just made the word star. That's a hint for you. And we've been thinking about the daytime and the nighttime sky. And so keep that in mind. And again, hopefully you've written star right here under the four letter word column that you have. Okay. We're going to move along. All right, are you ready? The next word that we are going to write is the word hi. Like, hi, I'm Mrs. Spear. How are you? Hi. Can you say hi? Great, let's do the sounds we hear in hi. H I, hi. Hmm, what letters do we have that would make the H and the I sound? Got it, letter H and letter I. Those two letters together say hi. Let's skywrite them and say the sounds. Here we go. I, hi. Great job. Now write H I, hi, and make sure that it goes under the two letter column. Okay. 
Then the last word we're going to make. Kind of clear our board for a minute. The last word we're going to make before we solve our mystery word is the word light. There's a very bright light on in here. Light. Or, if you've ever noticed, I have a light on a magnifying glass that I use. Light. Let's think about the sounds that we know in light. L-I-T. Light. Now, what letters do we know that could match for those sounds? L-I-T. Yeah, O letter L. What about the I sound? What letter could that be? Yeah, letter I. What sound do you hear last? T. That would be letter T, right? Here's the problem, though. We already made this word, and we know that that word says lit. So I'm going to teach you something right now. We need to have something to help I say the I sound. I'm going to move the letter T over. There are two letters down here that help I say I. You might know what they are. It's letter G and H. When we put G and H next to letter I, they help I to say the I sound. So this one chunk of letters, I, G, H, says I. This is how we spell light. U, I, T, light. L, I, G, H, T. There's five letters. Let's skywrite it and say the sounds as we write. Ready? U, I, T, light. And now let's say the letter names. L, I, G, H, T, light. Light has five letters, so I'm going to put it right here. Hmm. Now, we've made a bunch of words today. I told you that our word is connected to the sky that we've been looking at. It's actually connected to the nighttime sky. And the word light is in it. Okay, so light is in the mystery word. It has something to do with the sky at night and it has light in it. And I'll tell you a hint. The letters left have already made a word for us. Can you guess what the word is? I'm going to tell you that light goes at the end. And there's one word at the beginning that starts with the ST blend. St. Do you know what that would be? St. <gasps> yes. You got it. Starlight is our mystery word. Well done. You helped me using what you know about letters and sounds to build all of these words and help me solve the mystery word of starlight. Let's do all the sounds together. Ready? St or st. R U I T. Starlight. So we think about how many sounds it's st R U I T. Starlight. There's six sounds, but let's count how many letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine letters, but only six sounds because we have some helpers in here to make those sounds. So great job, everybody, doing your mystery word solving today. Write down Starlight and celebrate for being a great detective. I'll look forward to seeing you next time on Read, Write, Roar. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by, and by viewers like you. Thank you.